to my channel. So today's video is an exciting one because I haven't done a favorites in a really, really long time. Like to be honest, I can't even remember the last time that I filled one, but today on Instagram, I asked you guys to suggest videos and a couple of you suggested a favorites or like a 2018 favorites. I don't really know exactly what to call this because it's some stuff that I've liked for a really long time, but some of it is recent stuff that I've discovered. So today I'm literally telling you about everything, like beauty favorites, I have um, people and music favorites, and I have some of my favorite clothing items. So I'm gonna be covering a lot. This is all stuff that I swear by that I really, really love. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to do these more frequently, or if you want me to talk specifically about like a category, if you want like makeup favorites or lifestyle favorites or food favorites or something like that. Yeah, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get started. And most of the stuff is beauty. Um, for those of you that don't know I work at Ulta so even though I don't consider myself like a beauty guru or like makeup youtuber I still have so much fun trying product especially skincare and hair care stuff so the first thing in my hand you guys all know what this is so Mario Badescu facial spray personally I love the cucumber one so the green facial spray they also have a lavender one the original rose water and then they recently came out with an orange one I think they all feel the same I just like the way that this one smells the best basically what I like to do with this spray is use it at the very end of my skincare routine you know face wash I'll put on moisturizer or an eye cream if I have a spot treatment or whatever I'm putting on and then this is the very last thing that I do and I don't know why I love to like just spray it on at the end I just think it feels really good also in general I have dry skin so it just feels really refreshing some people like to use this to set their makeup some people like to use this throughout the day if they're just kind of feeling like tired or like they need to bring some life back to their face so this is so multi-purposeful so then next up is actually another facial spray this one's the Kapari coconut rose toner and this I swear to you guys is a game changer I didn't really know what to expect the first time that I tried it you know I figured it was just gonna be like the Mario facial sprays um, but these ones are more expensive so I didn't really want to like it but this one specifically is a toner you could use it after your moisturizer or like throughout the day the same way that I do with the Mario spray but specifically as a toner so on my bare face after I cleanse before I put on my moisturizer I swear this helps clear up my acne and it helps with texture and just there were so many amazing things that happened to my skin after I started using this um, so this one's my second bottle I'm actually almost out of it but the Ulta that I work with hasn't stocked it in a little while so I'm like savoring this last little bit um, but I love Kapari I really want to try more of their stuff I know people love their natural deodorant so even if I use this as a toner I'll still go in with the Mario spray but this one I swear like I love this so much and I guess while I'm talking about skincare items um, another one of my all-time faves is the first aid beauty pure skin cleanser if you guys watched the first skincare routine video that I filmed which at this point was two or three years ago I was using this cleanser then and I'm still using it to this day and I've tried some other ones in between that I've definitely liked but I always find myself coming back to this one it's just super gentle in the morning it's just really refreshing it helps to kind of wake you up but at night even though it's gentle it still does a really really good job of getting rid of all my makeup so this I love I'll use it alone or I'll use it with my Clarisonic so I've gone through probably like four of these and this one's getting low so I'm gonna have to buy a new one soon but definitely my favorite facial cleanser then I actually have a hair care item and this isn't that exciting of a hair care item but this is the Paul Mitchell tea tree hair and scalp treatment so I started using this about a year ago because last winter I just remember I got really bad dandruff and obviously my hair is very dark so it was just really noticeable and I was self-conscious about it so I decided to give this a try and I just fell in love with it I now use it year-round even though I started off using it just because of dandruff I just think it feels really good when you start massaging it into your scalp it kind of has like a cooling minty like a tingly feeling and I love the Paul Mitchell tea tree shampoos as well but this was just really really good at clearing up dandruff but it also helps with like product buildup and I was kind of nervous to use this because I didn't want it to be heavy on my scalp or feel greasy or anything because you wash your hair and then you massage this in and then you rinse it out and I don't really like putting product on my scalp because I only wash my hair every like four or five days so obviously I want to keep my scalp as clean for as long as possible um, but this I mean like once you rinse it out you can't even feel it in your hair but my hair is so much softer and then also use conditioner like I normally do but it has little beads in there so it's exfoliating so yeah it's basically just like a little spa day for your head I use this every like three times I wash my hair and I love it obviously I love it because uh, these are all favorites so they're all things that I love so then my next favorite is Dr. Bronner's. This soap I feel like I had heard people talk about for so long and I just like never 
never felt the need to try it out. This is now, I think, my fourth bottle of it in the past year because I love it so much. So when I first started using it, I was just using it as like a body wash in the shower. But then I started using it for more things and now it's like I use it for so many just steps in my daily routine that I like really can't live without it. So this one is the peppermint one. I just finished up a bottle of the almond one, but they also have like citrus, they have lavender, they have an unscented one. Um, I buy mine at Target. Some Ulta sell it, but I also have bought it at Whole Foods in the past. But basically, this is one of those soaps that you can use for so many different things. This one says 18 and 1. Um, but just to give you guys an idea of all the things that I've used it for, um, like I said, I'll use it to wash my body in the shower. I will use it to wash my makeup brushes, my sponges. After I fake tan, I'll use it to wash my applicator mitt. I've used it to hand wash clothing. I have used it to wash um, sneakers that have gotten really dirty and muddy. You can also use it for cleaning like around the house. Like there are literally so many different ways that you can use it. A lot of them are listed on the bottle. I definitely recommend it to at least use for like washing your makeup brushes um, and just to have as like a multi-purpose, like I said, if my sneakers get dirty, um, just to have for stuff like that if you don't want to use it to wash your body. But this I really really love and I'm so glad that I tried it and then going along with body care items this is the soap and glory righteous body butter this is the only body lotion that I've used for probably a year and a half I love 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 the scent of soap and glory I also love their body wash I love their body scrubs their hand cream but specifically this lotion I use it every single time I get out of the shower and recently I also started adding oil to the lotion so I've been using the Tarte Maracuja oil but I also just bought a Shea Moisture one that I haven't gotten a chance to try yet but I'll put a couple pumps of this in my hand and then a couple drops of oil and just mix them together and I feel like the scent of this mixed with Prada candy is like my signature scent so yeah try this out if you haven't already and just all their products if you're looking for some good affordable bath products so then a more recent addition to my routine is fake tanning and I just tried it for the first time last Spring or early summer I was always so scared to because I didn't want to be orange I didn't want it to be obvious but eventually I was just like what the heck I'm gonna give it a try so I've only ever tried St. Tropez when it comes to fake tanners so I can't you know say from a lot of experience whether this one is better than any other one that I've tried but I love this so much that I don't have the urge to try other brands which I think says a lot but I do want to do a video specifically on my fake tanning routine so if you guys would be interested in that let me know so I have one and only one makeup product. All of that was beauty related, but this is the only cosmetic item that I felt like talking to you guys about. And this is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. And as soon as I tried this, I have not wanted to put any other type of foundation on my face. This, I swear, is everything that I've ever looked for when it comes to a foundation and this little bottle. So the coverage on this, I would say, is light to medium. Now, for me, on a day-to-day -day basis, that's all that I want. I love a good full coverage foundation every once in a while, but for day-to-day, -day, this is so perfect. I will put on some under-eye concealer, and I use a setting powder with it that gives me a little bit of a little bit more coverage. But what I love about this the most is the way that it wears throughout the day, because a lot of the times I'm doing my makeup at like 8 or 9 in the morning and then I'm wearing it until like 10 or 11 o'clock at night and this does not break up it does not get greasy it doesn't start to get really shiny and cakey or anything gross which for me even though I'm dry it tends to happen after you know 10 or 11 hours of wearing a foundation I feel like it's sometimes inevitable or at least that's what I thought until I tried this so it just wears so well I know that NARS can be pricey but from everything that I've tried of their products I definitely think that they're worth the money so I'm so glad that I tried it obviously I am going to continue to test out other products because I love to but as of now I literally have no desire to try any other foundation then I have a couple jewelry items that I want to talk about and they are two pairs of earrings and then a bracelet so first of all the bracelet you guys have probably seen me wear a lot this is my mantra band that says nevertheless she persisted which as most of you know is my favorite quote I just feel like it's so simple but it's so to the point I just feel like whenever I read this and I really think about what it it means I just feel like it really just instantly boosts my mood and then I also have two pairs of earrings and both of them are a little bit different for me because normally I feel like I'm really subtle when it comes to jewelry so hoops are something that I know are very trendy but I never really thought that they were my style until I found these pairs so first of all I bought this little thin gold pair and I love that the hoops on these are big 
but they're not like obnoxious so I think that they still look really classy these ones are from J Crew Factory I don't know if I already said that but these are really really easy to throw on and I think that they can really change the way that an outfit looks even though they're so subtle but then I also got these ones from Target and these are part of their bobble bar line you guys have probably seen me wear these a couple times now but they have like the tortoise shell bottom which I think is so fun and when I don't want to be like super crazy with semen earrings um, I feel like these are just a good happy medium while still being classy and neutral but they're different so next up I have a candle favorite and this one is the almond candle from Bath and Body Works so this is my second one of this candle but I didn't know that they only made it in the fall so this year when fall rolls around I'm literally gonna stock up on so many of them I am savoring this candle I only burn it on like special occasions but I try not to burn it for too long at once because I don't want to run out of it it's just like a nice warm scent without being very sweet or like a cupcake candy kind of smell so next up I have some clothing favorites I don't have many but these are things that I've definitely found myself wearing repeatedly like very very repeatedly recently so the first thing is the sweater that Abby gave me for my birthday if you guys don't know who Abby is she's one of my best friends we go way back to first grade we met when we were like five or six she's still one of my best friends but this was the sweater that she gave me for Christmas I think she got it from Nordstrom Rack but the brand on it is Melrose and Market so um, I'll try to find it online actually I'll for the record I'm gonna try to find the link for everything um, and put it in the description box for you most of the stuff I should be able to um, but yeah if you guys want anything that I've talked about today I will link as much as possible but this sweater, I love that it kind of has like a warm, taupey gray color, but in some lighting, like right now, I think it looks kind of purple. It's so soft and comfy, but I like that it's casual, but when I wear it with like more fun earrings um, or like a fun pair of shoes or something, I can make it just look a lot more dressy, but it's still like casual. And if I wear it with jeans or leggings or something, it's laid back. But yeah, I love the way that it fits. It's sort of like loose and boxy. And then my favorite pair of jeans that I've ever, ever bought. Actually, two pairs because I bought two of the same style just in different washes. But I went to J. Crew Factory just like on a whim. I had been wanting some new pairs of jeans, but I wasn't like in a hurry to buy them. And they had some on sale, so I got two pairs of jeans. They were like $30 each, and I kid you not, they fit me better than any other jeans that I've worn before. The price was awesome, the quality is awesome, and just like the wash and everything, I am so obsessed with. So these are from J. Crew Factory. I want to go back and get a couple pairs because I only have two right now, but I wear jeans almost every single day, and I feel like I could just never have enough pairs of like basic ones that I can use. The so next up we have my little baby. This is the Tory Burch purse that I bought in one of my vlogs maybe like three or four weeks ago actually it might have been longer at this point but I was out shopping and I randomly went into a consignment store in my area and they had this purse brand new with the tags on and I was just immediately so drawn to it and I am really really happy that I decided to pick it up I know this is a very summery and spring-esque purse but when I wear it with all black in the winter or if I'm wearing like a really dark outfit and throw this on I feel like it just makes it a lot more me and a lot more my style so I'm obsessed with this it's very roomy and spacious on the inside like there are a couple different like pockets in here so my wallet fits in here but I can also put in like my vlog camera like this purse is literally one of my favorite things that I've ever bought I'm literally just so obsessed with this purse I can't even put it to words so then I have two shoe favorites that I want to talk to you guys about the first ones are these little booties from Target and people were blowing up my Instagram when I posted a picture wearing these because everyone wanted to know where they were from so they are from Target they're by the brand Universal Thread I love these because depending on the jeans that I'm wearing some of them are a little bit longer some of them are a little bit shorter and I don't always like the way that ankle booties hit um, because I like to have a little bit of skin showing between my jeans and my booties I know scandalous so I love that these are low but also having the open side is just like so trendy and different and I love them I also think that they're gonna be easy to transition into like spring or in the fall if you want to wear it with a dress it's not gonna be like too wintry or anything so these I'm obsessed with and they're really really comfy and then the other pair of shoes that I want to talk about are a little bit dirty right now but these are my light pink sneakers and you guys ask me about these all the time so I figured I'd 
go ahead and just address it in a video so these ones are from Adidas and I actually got them from Journey Kids which when I saw them in the window I didn't even realize that it was a kids shoe store so I just like went in and asked to try them on um, but yeah these are from Adidas so I'm normally a 9 or a 10 in women's shoes which catches people off guard they don't realize that I have big feet but these are a 7 so even though they're from the kids store they're men's sizing so they run really big for being kids shoes so if you can get your hands on these um, I absolutely love them I love that they're pink obviously they're girly and they're fun but they're still neutral um, like I said I do have to clean these right now so when I said earlier that I use the Dr. Bronner's to clean my shoes these ones especially I've washed so many times and they've held up really well I've had them for at least like a year now so that is it for all of the physical stuff that I have here to show you guys but I did want to talk about some other random little favorites so first of all I have a person favorite that I have to talk about Brittany from five foot one teacher has definitely become one of my favorite favorite youtubers I found her maybe about four months ago and I just immediately was so drawn to her personality and her optimism just about everything in life so Brittany actually went through something really traumatic last February she um, works at a school that had a shooting last February um, Stoneman Douglas which you guys might be familiar with they had a shooting on Valentine's Day last year so even though her and I went through very different situations we both have dealt with tragic loss so I feel like I've connected with her on that level but also just her personality and how bubbly she is and how adorable she is um, these earrings that I have on were actually made by starfish project but they're in honor of Brittany because yellow is her favorite color because obviously it's a happy color but yeah if you guys don't know who she is definitely go check her out and send her some love also some music favorites I want to talk about because I feel like I don't really talk about music that much on here um, and I get questions a lot about what kind of music I listen to so something that surprises people a lot is that I mostly listen to country music. I've always been a fan of Garth Brooks. He's probably my favorite singer. Um, but more recently, I have started to listen to like different music. And I don't even know what genre this would be considered. But I have a playlist on Pandora. And it was originally a John Mayer radio station. But I added variety. So I added like Michael Buble. I added Frank Sinatra. I added Chris Stapleton, who's like more of a country singer and Jason Mraz who I love so this John Mayer radio has turned into a very just like chill radio station and I absolutely love it I don't know if you're able to share Pandora stations the way that you are with um, Spotify how you can like link a playlist so I will try to do that but if I can't I'll just like list um, all the artists that I've had variety to but I love love the playlist so much that's what I listen to pretty much every single day um, other random favorites I watched you on on Netflix and I was obsessed with it I had so many of you guys recommend it to me and I'm really really glad that I watched it it's definitely creepy it's gory and if you don't like scary or suspenseful stuff then I don't recommend it it kind of reminds me of Pretty Little Liars but it's like more of a mature version um, also I watched Bird Box as did everyone and I thought that was good I watched Handmaid's Tale over the summer and that was one of my favorite shows so if you guys have Hulu um, definitely try that show also Mamma Mia that came out over the summer that is definitely one of my favorites I've always, always, always been a fan of the original Mamma Mia. I know all of the songs by heart. Um, I also listen to music like that when I'm in the car a lot, which I know a lot of people find funny. When the new movie came out, I was so obsessed with it. I actually saw it in theaters twice, and I also know all of those um, songs now. I don't know, I feel like that's all like the newer stuff that I might not have talked about on my channel, but that's actually everything that I had to share with you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this favorites video. Let me know if you want me to do more, or if there are any like specific categories that you would want me to talk about but even if you don't want me to do a favorites video just let me know what other recommendations you would have obviously it's a new year so any type of video suggestions would be awesome I love you guys so much and thank you for watching this video so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to you in my next one bye